Hi everyone. Welcome to Creative Courage Lab Day 2. This is Jessica Sanders and uh, today we're going to be talking about explore or exploration. That's our prompt for today. And the idea is that you do something that you haven't done before. Try something in a different way. Maybe use the back of your canvas or paint with the wrong end of your paintbrush or something like that. I'm trying to get this pen to activate. I don't know if it's going to work. Um, should have done that before I started the video. Anyway, so the idea is to explore your materials or explore uh, your style of art, if it's writing or music or whatever, but to do something different. Uh, and Groot is back. He's very happy to be here. And I don't know why, but I love Groot. And that was a great movie. And this pen will not work, so I'm just tossing it aside. So today, my idea is to try out alcohol inks on gessoed paper. Now alcohol inks are specifically made for glossy surface and this is glossy underneath and you if you've seen my other tutorials then you'll know that it's it has it reacts a certain way spreads across the paper and it doesn't really sink in although it does adhere. Uh, so I have no idea what is going to happen. I have never tried this before. This is the first time but I am excited to see what happens and um, yeah I still need a marker One second. Okay, because I want to write on this paper with my paint pen I'm going to use this green isn't that an amazing green this is an acrylic pen. It is, I think it's Montana. Yeah, this is a Montana acrylic pen. These, these things are pretty cool. But I haven't used it in a long time, so I'm not sure how it's going to work. Just hold it down and squeeze it. <laughs> okay, issues with markers today. Moving on. Okay, um, the first thing I need to do, I guess, is set my timer. I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. I don't have to create for 10. I can go for 10 or possibly 15, but that's my limit. So, timer is set, and off we go. So, I'm going to try just dropping some ink on this gesso and see what happens. The gesso has tooth so that the um, acrylic paints will adhere to it. So, we'll just see. Um, let me see. I notice that it dries a lot faster. It's not completely dry, but it's kind of dry. And it didn't spread out very much, only a little. But it still has some interesting effects. Um, I'll drop some blue on here. And I also can see that it soaks in. So it's not um, it's not sitting on top of the gesso like it sits on top of glossy paper. So you can see the difference. This is glossy paper. This is on gessoed paper. And if you see these little I need something to point with. If you see these little spots in here, that's where it's just the watercolor paper and the gesso is not completely covered. You know, I like to do that. Okay, so it kind of sinks into the paper. Doesn't move as much. Now let's see what happens when I add alcohol. This is 90% isopropyl alcohol. And it uh, will re-wet the ink on glossy paper and um, cause it to move. So let's just see what happens if it does that here. It also will lighten it. I didn't mention that. I have some canned air here. Let me just blow and see what happens. So even on the gesso paper though, it still picked up the ink, you can see. And moved it around a little bit. This is not an alcohol ink demo, but it's really just um, for this. Let me just see how this mixative works on here. Now if you can see, 
You see the silver moving around? Sitting on top of the ink, which is what it does on glossy paper. So this is kind of a cool effect. Now I'm wondering what happens when I just try and move it around. Got my straw I used to move around the inks. And I'm just going to add um, what color? What color should I add? I'll add blue, of course. Always adding blue. Okay, and it's touching this other ink. It does pick it up. I can see a little bit of green on the edge. These are just my observations as I'm exploring this medium on this paper. Now what happens when I move it? Oh, that silver was still wet. So if this were glossy paper, that would move all the way across the page. So it does sink in a lot more. But I also know I can re-wet it. That worked to re-wet it with the alcohol or with the ink. Use the green. And you can see it moving like that. Pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. There. Just I'm going to use the brown. Oh, this particular ink acts a little different in the alcohol than the blue did. Did you notice? So the theme today is exploring and actually exploring is probably my favorite thing to do <laughs> when it comes to art and I'm kind of a, a art supply junkie. I mean I have like a lot of supplies and I try a lot of different things all the time and that's like the most fun part of art for me. You can see that's moving. So even though this um, paper is gessoed and it absorbs and it looks you know, quite a bit different. This is a lot more glossy and smooth looking. This sinks into the paper and quite a, quite a bit more it sinks into the gesso. Um, but it still re-wets. These, these are my observations in my exploration. So what happens? Oh, I no, notice this. Um, this is a stronger alcohol than I've used before. It's ninety percent. I was using a seventy percent. That looks and that ink just does something different in there. I'm just going to add some ink and play with this a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Let's see what happens. And also, I'm just going to try moving it around a little bit again. Leaving all that silver behind on top there, you can see the silver still kind of floats, but the other inks just kind of sink in. It's interesting. And because I do this all the time, this is the way I work. I'm just going to start sprinkling around. I like, I don't know, I don't usually leave a lot of white space when I'm playing with inks. You can. So you can see all of that silver is just sitting there. It's not moving at all. Those spots, they're just not, and I like that one looks, looks like a flower. The petals. Okay. Add the ink to the wet silver. Kind of the same effect. So part of the Creative Courage Lab Challenge is to notice how you feel. Um, does anything come up that is like intimidating or that makes you uncomfortable? Um, but today's prompt, I'm just, I'm in my element. This is, playing is my, my element. 
I think I feel like it's some the best way for me to work. I get a lot more done. Oh look, it goes right around the grommet. Now this will this will adhere to the grommet, so yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't feel intimidated by this at all. I'm not worried about the outcome because it's a test <laughs> and I don't mind testing things and that makes me feel like okay no problem this is only a test and it, it doesn't it doesn't matter how it results it only matters what you learn and um, so I can tell you what I learned I learned that the ink does sink in more to this paper okay. I learned that I like the effect of dripping the alcohol on top of the inks on the paper it still causes it to re-wet and to move um, that even though a lot of the ink sinks in it still <clears throat> spreads out on the on the gessoed paper um, okay so I'm gonna let that dry and here's my card and how much time do I have left only one minute so I'm doing pretty good so I'm gonna set this up here a little bit and the reason I use this glossy paper behind is because I will take it later and do something else with it. So I'm going to grab a marker. And I had this idea to write explore in kind of big letters. And I was going to do it in silver, but the silver didn't work, so... And then I'm just going to, okay, so part of this idea is, is the idea of imperfect. So, ripping. And meanwhile, my ink is drying. The silver still looks a little bit wet here. Ripping, ripping, ripping. There we go. And I'm going to rip each letter apart because I want to put them separately on the page. And I'm not setting them there yet because it's still wet, but I think you get the idea. And it has been 10 minutes, so I set my timer. And there we go. Now the question is, how am I going to adhere these words? Hmm. They're, they're not going to just stick to the page. I know what to do. I need gel medium. This will work. This is gloss heavy gel. Gloss heavy gel right there. And so sorry, I wasn't planning on doing this, and so now I have to get my And just so you know, I'm doing these um, videos trying my best. No, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's difficult to do something every single day. But I'm trying to do these videos every day and share them with you. And um, so, I'm gonna, these are not edited. These are just the way it is. So I'm just going to hear the back of that. Sorry, Groot. I bumped you. Um, and I'm going to put it on the page. And I'm going to cover it with the gloss gel. And this is going to dry clear. And it may pick up some of the colors of the ink. That's no problem. Do it again. And because I noticed my word is too big, I'm going to overlap these a little bit. And back. It's okay with me if it's on other parts of the page. I'm still on day one, make messes, explore, get messy. And I'm still trying to stay within my 15 minutes. So 
hopefully. Oh, you can see it picked up some of the ink there. It's still the ink is still a little bit wet. And sometimes even if the ink is dry, the gel medium will pick it up. So this is gouache gel. I am putting it on kind of thick. But it's going to dry clear, so it doesn't matter. Right? Right. And, um, yes, so. I'm probably not going to put a video, a photo at the end of this video because, like I said, this is not an edited video. Um, this is just straight as it is. How it is is how it is. I actually want to make that up. Um, so, oops, got some silver. It's okay. The silver was still wet. Um, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, so you can see, you can't really see the word, but when it uh, dries, you will be able to see it. It will dry clear. And then because I can, and because I love the effect of these glass gel beads, these are Liquitex glass beads in a medium. And they make this really cool effect on top of alcohol inks, but I don't know how they will do on top of gesso alcohol inks. Um, so I'm just going to um, add a little touch of this, like at the top of my letters. It also dries optically clear. Don't want to cover up the letters though. And um, yeah, I'm still making mistakes and getting messy. And exploring. And go on the all the way across, but that's a little more than I want it to be. It's more. And then I'm going to put it in. I don't want to cover up the letters because even though it dries optically clear, it's got the little acrylic beads in it that look like glass. They're so shiny and pretty. Yes, um, so I'm thinking if you want to see how this turns out because I'm not attaching a picture at the a photo at the end then um, you're gonna have to just hop over to my website to my blog and I will blog about this this week. Um, okay, so thank you so much. I've enjoyed Creative Courage Lab Day 2 um, and you can explore the Creative Courage Lab if you check out this hashtag on Twitter or Instagram. Um, yeah, so go get exploring and see what happens. Bye.